Sound medical practice demands not only a knowledge of the way harmful agents operate, but an accurate estimate of those agents. Radioactivity is detected by various instruments, such as this Geiger counter, and pocket chamber. They have as their unit of measurement the Rentgen, or fractions thereof. This dial is graduated in Rentgen, allowing for precise readings of contamination in persons and things. It will tell how much radiation the wearer has received. The human body's resistance to destructive agents and its recouping powers vary with individuals. This man might recover quickly from a rattlesnake bite. This one might succumb to a bee sting. Aware of this range of vulnerability, doctors have set extremely safe and low exposures, such as three-tenths of a Rentgen per week, as the maximum gamma radiation dose for laboratory and industrial workers with radioactive materials. They calculate that 300 to 500 times this much, 150 or more Rentgen, may bring out symptoms of sickness. The median lethal dose, which is the amount necessary to kill half the persons exposed, is placed by most medical authorities at around 450 Rentgen, received by the victim's entire body and within a short period of time. Thus it takes a very special combination of circumstances to cause the death of a person by radiation. A combination that's a remote possibility in ordinary work with radioactive materials. And not nearly so frequent in atomic warfare as is commonly believed.